Spot Real Talk. My name is Tiara. Tiffany. And I'm Ron. And today we are back for another episode recap of Your Honor. Uh, this was season two, episode seven, titled Part 17. And man, it was so good. So good. good. It had me on my uh, the edge of my seat. <laughs> Um, but before we jump into it, make sure you subscribe and click the uh, like button and the notification bell for our channel. Help us grow. Continue to support us. We appreciate the love, but you can help us back and return the love by supporting the channel. So um, do those things. And uh, I guess we can go ahead and get started with the conversation because I am itching to talk about this one. <laughs> mm. This was maybe like, I, I think I said a few episodes ago that maybe I think uh, maybe episode three or two was one of my favorites, but this one topped it. Mm -hmm. This is, has mm -hmm. to be my favorite episode so far. Uh, so much went down. So if we start um, with Eugene, so he got a shot last week and we are wondering like what's going to happen with him. We kind of figured he wouldn't die, but he ran over to Lee's house who used to be his attorney. Um, and so he's trying to get help from her. And meanwhile, he's bleeding out all over her apartment. And she calls in her doctor friend and whatnot uh, to try to help patch it up. But he still passes out. Yeah, he calls, she calls Tanya, her, her little doctor. Friend. The, the gynecologist. Oh, oh, right, I get ready to say OBGYN. So yeah, I, well, I guess she could at least stop the bleeding, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're still a doctor. Right. Right. OBGYN is a specialty. They still got to go to med school first. That's true. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. also, I was happy to see Lee, who played by Carmen Ijogo, um, who yeah. is a fabulous actress. Yeah. I was happy yeah. to see her back. Yeah, yes. Definitely. I just yeah. wondered how G Eugene got to the house in the first place. Uh, he, he ran bleeding. for he ran. Uh, well, that's a lot of blood. I mean, you stop to think that you know. I well, the bullet went. Looks like it went clean. They through. said it went clean through. Yeah, so but I, also when you get shot break. like that, you probably got a lot of adrenaline that's keeping you going for yeah, at least a little bit. For his life, he yeah. look. Yeah, but you, you know, typically, if, I think if that bullet was still inside, I'm I'm not gonna. They said it went. The doctor said it yeah. went clean. Through. No, you could see when she leaned him back. Yeah, uh, he forward. just was losing the blood. That yeah. that yeah. was. Because the that danger. running, you know, that running, you're just, the part is pumping even more. So it's just like a squirt gun, you know, it's just, mm. so. It so didn't I, but, hit the heart though, clearly. No, no, no. The but heart, I know what you mean a, by the yeah. circulation of the blood. Exactly, here. Exactly. Yeah. But I'm glad he made it because I'm, you know, I was. Mm. And that's why, you know, he dropped, it fell out after a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but I'm glad he made it too. And Lee um, did the right thing. She, she knew what to do. Mm hmm. And, you know, she covered for him so well. She pleaded with that nurse yeah. not to call it in and let them know his identity. Um, and I'm so glad that the nurse went along with it. I was like, thank um, you, sis. <laughs> yes. Because I think it, it, it could have gone the other way. It could have well, gone another way. Actually, it did. I mean, uh, Rudy, uh, is that his name? Yeah, uh, Rudy. Yeah, Rudy uh, Cunningham, the detective. I mean, he what? was like a bulldog trying to find uh, Eugene. That's because the security let him know that it, that um, Eugene was there. But yeah, yeah, remember when he made the first call, uh, wanting to know if there had been a young black teen mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that had entered the hospital, and they said no, just a, a Hispanic, a forty-year-old Hispanic, 40. yeah, right. Yeah. But he had the where for he said, all. Go back and check. But he had the where for all to call the the uh, police officer. Yeah. at the hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, and that double check exactly. Mm -hmm. So he was like a bulldog on this one. Well, he was shaking in his boots. He know what that yeah. meant for his oh, job. Absolutely. Yeah, it, that meant maybe. exposure. Yeah. Like he was a corrupt cop, yeah. and you see, he called Charlie. Like, listen, what I do? <laughs> like we we here. Charlie was like, we who? Yeah. <laughs> we, what do you mean? We? <laughs> you in the car? I suggest you keep <laughs> driving. <laughs> I was like, See, dang, Charlie ain't I, loyal at all. Oh, I'm saying that's about how low can you go, Charlie? And Charlie, <laughs> Charlie has, he has no bottom, okay? So, no. Yeah. yeah. No, he doesn't. He was like, he had the phone like, <laughs> we, we, we. <laughs> Yeah. So it was like, I was, I was very concerned with that situation um, for oh, Eugene. Geez. And so we're going to pick up more on that. <laughs> But I also wanted to talk about what's going on with, you know, the Baxters, because they're looking for Eugene, too. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they get back to the hotel. They find out that Fia has ditched them. Her and the baby and rolled out. 
clothes too. Like we out, yeah, we ain't doing right. no baptism yeah. piece. Right. <laughs> exactly. She's not playing with them this time around. Mm -hmm. And so um, of course, like it's it's a tough spot because they're looking for Eugene still, but they're also looking for fear. Frank has been officially fired. <laughs> So with Jimmy, I was happy he put his foot down this week Me with too. Gina. Yes. Mm -hmm. He told her he is no longer employed with this family. And Gina had a real problem with that. And you so you didn't consult me. Right. This yeah. consulting mess with her is getting on my nerves. Gina, find your place. Or if no, sit in your place. That's what I want to say. She but don't Gina know was awfully concerned about but, Frank's exit. And it just makes me think that he's been securing more than they family. I mean, you know. But you know he, what kind he, of... He's securing the cookie. Yeah. <laughs> there, you there you go. He has been securing the cookie, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I'm sure he's been dipping his stick in that oil. Absolutely, because Jimmy's yeah. not even sleeping in the same room. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. So maybe, and that's foul. Well, well, you know, last week I thought Jimmy had no reason to beat him up, but maybe now we see he might have had every reason in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I want to go back on Michael and the uh, police officer uh, Beckwith pulling him over. Mm -hmm. And the reason being because, you know what ticked me off about that? And Michael seems to do this at will. Now, you got a call from Nancy. You pulled over. And you didn't take her call. If you had taken her call and left her on the phone, rather than trying to write her a text, in which you weren't able to finish because Beckwith comes to the car... But if the phone was on and he's talking to Nancy, then perhaps it wouldn't have gone down as it did. Fortunately, though, we know that that uh, Nancy had the presence of mind to run a uh, track on that phone because mm -hmm. it could have gone south. Yeah, it could have. You know, it could have. It was she, only she seconds saw, away. Right. Because she saw that he was getting ready to respond. You know, you can tell right. somebody responded and then it stopped. Right. And I think that's what jarred her, you know alerted her to do let me check the phone and see what's mm -hmm. going on because yeah. he had just called her and then all of a sudden she couldn't get through right. so that and you know what i thought about when he was driving i was like judge michael knows how it feels now to be driving while black <laughs> 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 that when too, he was yeah. driving and he got pulled over i saw he had, he kept his hands on it um the steering wheel all the things <laughs> that we tell black folks to do yeah. <laughs> when mm -hmm. they get stopped by the cops. And I was concerned right. with him letting the cop know that he knew. Yeah. You know, right. about the yeah. situation That's with true. Robin. Uh -huh. Because yeah. I was like, I think at that point he kind of had accepted. Like, okay, this is going to go down. He's going to kill me. So I yeah, might as well exactly. get the truth out of him. I think right. that's what I think that's what it was. I think he thought he was going to die. And he's just like, at least I'll find out what happened before I die. Exactly. So that's why I was like, at first I was a little concerned. I'm like, oh, Michael, you really going down the wrong path asking these questions. But then, you know, mm -hmm. he already knew that it was more than likely going to go down. And once they got to that bridge and he, you know, taking out the car and, you know, Beckwith is trying to set it up to look like a suicide. Like, I was like, oh, my God, I was so on edge at that moment. I was uh -huh. like, how was this going to like, who's going to save him? Because at I, that thought point, Nancy, I thought it was going to be Nancy. But yeah, I wasn't I, thinking about the phone, no. though, and the fact that yeah. that was a Fed phone, too. So right. that kind of like in the moment, I wasn't thinking about it. I yeah. didn't think I didn't think she was. I didn't think about the tracking piece either. I just thought that somehow that she was going to be the one to come through only because they had just spoken. He had just told her that it was a cop. And then now he can't get a hold. She can't get a hold of him. I, mm -hmm. I thought that somehow that she might show up or, yeah. or Olivia or yeah. Olivia. Because, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, the big question for me is, you know, Nancy, when she was trying to get that information from him after shooting him, he still kept his, his uh, mouth closed. So what is Nancy going to do? You know, because right now he's taken to the hospital. And of course, they'll ask him, well, what are you doing chained up, uh, you know, against the fence? Well, he's not going to come out and say, well, I tried to kill somebody. So I like well, to. She got what she needed from from um, Ken Cunningham. Yeah, because yeah, right, she did, but I, I'm thinking, well, yeah, I, as it and if Nancy out, was smart, she was recording that conversation right, that's my, or something. Kind of what I'm talking so about, so that it's not just her word versus her, his, his, right? And, and because that's what we're left with, uh, with the scene of him. But then again, as you said, Tiffany, it kind of turns out. I mean, it plays out because of the fact that of what Cunningham did, and she, and when she got that information, 
and what we saw, you know, Cunningham taking his own life. Although I wonder if it's... And she had his phone. That she yeah. took the officer's phone and, and she said to Michael, she was like, it seems every time stuff went down, this was the one person that he yep. was talking to. Now this one person is dead and stuff. They probably can get all that stuff out oh, that officer's they, phone. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And, and not just the officer. And this is where it goes back all the way. It trickles Sorry. down to... There you go. Trickles down to Charlie. Oh, yeah. oh boy, Charlie. Yeah, Thank so, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Charlie, Charlie pissed me off this week. Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, he was a scum, and and yet we see just how big a scum he was or is. But um, yeah. Although now, it, Tiffany, go ahead. I was going to say that begs the question: Did he do it? Because when Michael went to to uh to confront him, he said, "You know, my wife, Robin." I think you were the one she was talking to. And then she leaves and then she gets killed. And this guy was the same guy that you called to disappear the car. Mm -hmm. Did you know? And he was just like, Michael, I, I, I did I didn't know. Da, 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 or whatever. He, he, he condemned. He said, I'm sorry. So he, I'm just yeah. wondering. I'm like, okay. Did he not know that this guy did that or whatever? Or do you think he's responsible for yes. Robin's death? He's like, still responsible. He condemned, yeah, he is, like, he, but is he directly or indirectly? Yes, he's directly In responsible because mm -hmm. he condemned Robin. I'm going to tell you, look, Charlie knew loose ends can't be, you can't have loose ends no matter who they are. And mm -hmm. the fact that she was digging so deep and then asking him if he knows any crooked cops, mm -hmm. And like he said, looking for he, police contacts. She contact, right? Yeah. But my point is, mm -hmm. she called. That's, the, no, she called. I mean, um, um, uh, um. She called. She called. Robin. Charlie. Robin calls Charlie, and Charlie calls the cleanup man. Yeah. So that's except. That's essentially. But what he Cunningham said he is. didn't connect the dots at that point. Right. That's what. That's, that's what. Lie. That's, that's what Michael lie. asked him. He said. You Mike, didn't connect the dots, so right, that's what Michael I'm wondering. Like, is he is he deliberately lying to Michael and saying yes. like I didn't know, or did he deliberately call uh, Rudy and say, "Hey, we got Let, a problem." Let's she put it this go. way: Michael walked out, and when he walked out, he had that look of "I don't he believe was you," and and I and he didn't believe a word Charlie said because mm -hmm. I believe Charlie condemned uh, 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 Robin. I don't know what he said to Cunningham. I don't know how he did it, but he condemned her, and 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 I'm saying he's responsible for her death just by but calling the cleanup way he's guy. Responsible, right? Like even if he didn't mean to, he's mm -hmm. responsible, and that's why you know I really felt the judge's despair when he was broken on the yes. on the bus. I felt devastated. This yes, like yeah. that. He was really heartbroken, and I was and I was really happy to see Fia on his step when he came back because I was right. Like, he Here's another that. lease on life. Yeah, I was like, you know, this is another reason to live. The, the baby is another reason to live. Reason to live. Yeah. And it absolutely is. But Fia is becoming, she's um she, you know, she's that's 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 a death trap. Death trap for uh uh a Michael. For Michael and I mean, well, obviously nothing's gonna happen to Fia, but she keeps right. lining him up with her family. Because <laughs> Jimmy is not the one to play with, and so Oh, Gina. Let, let's go with Gina. No, that's great. Uh, yeah, I'm more worried about Gina than, than Yeah, when Gina, Gina finds that. out that that uh Stella uh, called us almost called us Stella because it reminds yeah. me of what's going on in that other show we do. Yeah. Fia, you know, when G uh, uh, Gina finds out exactly where she is, she's gonna be hot. She's gonna hit the freaking roof. And mm -hmm. now there's really gonna be some confrontation between Jimmy and and um and Gina. So what yeah. does he do? What does uh, Jimmy do at this point? Jimmy got to get Gina out of the way. Because like going back to that incident at the hotel when he fired Frank and then he kind of let Carlo step up in his place. Mm -hmm. Gina kind of went back on that. And she was like, no, Carlo, go get the car. We're going to go. You're going to go rest. He's not going. Like I was like, so, you know, he pleaded with his mom last week that he wanted more responsibility. And she said she would talk to Jimmy. But now when Jimmy lets Carlos steps up, she's basically negating his word. So yeah. I'm like, she, this woman's a c control freak. That's yes. Awesome. And you know what? Because she knew, you know, Carlo and, and Gina are, are like, and they have a bond. And remember, Carlo said something like, 
he didn't think that his dad liked him or whatever, or loved him or, or, or things like that. It was one of those episodes where he was saying, I don't know if he was talking to her or he was talking to Fia, and he, he thought that his dad didn't really um He didn't feel good enough. Him. He didn't feel good enough. So he, so Carlo was happy that his dad was just like, you know, now I'm finally getting the approval that I want. Mm -hmm. And I think Gina was looking at him like, I see what you're doing. Yep. <laughs> I, see what you're doing. I, 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 I see through you. <laughs> yeah. So that's a huge problem. Like they really got to do something about Gina. She's the, the common denominator of all of the problems in the yeah. family. It seemed like. Yeah. So let's give Jimmy kudos for uh, stepping up to Gina in every such a way uh, in this particular episode and also um, uh, handling the um, what's the family the uh, Carbello what is, it, what is that yeah, name the, uh, uh, um, Calibri Calibri, 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 family, Calibri yeah. family he you set know, that I, deal up yeah I love it when he got on the phone and said okay here's the deal it's my deal you accept it and I want you to accept it now mm -hmm. yep. yep and it's and only going to be it's not going to be forever Yes, yes, until the project is done. Exactly. I, I for direct, a certain amount of time. A direct slap in Gina's face because we all know her father and that family had that's tight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He like, I'm running this. I'm mm -hmm. running this. And that's why, like I said, I, I worry for him because I, I don't I, a trip. She's I think a trip. Her, Unless he gets yeah. rid of her, like uh Tierra said, um, she's the kind that might try to get rid of him you know what i think i think her father is gonna in my if i would do this if i were her father you know let jimmy do what jimmy wants to do is you know you gotta step back and be his wife because he's about family too you gotta step back and be his wife i don't think he would harm jimmy uh, he doesn't I, trust his leadership though she doesn't trust doesn't, him to act well even in that situation with eugene she, but she Whereas, doesn't trust him because she's angry with him and she doesn't like him anymore. She's she's out of love with him. She doesn't like him anymore. And so anything he does, him. she exactly. thinks and he's so she lost Well, she lost total respect for him. So I'm not certain if her father feels the same way, though, because, you know, and, and even in the drug industry, iron sharpens iron. So maybe he'll try to take him on and say, hey, you know, follow my path. But I don't, I don't see him. I don't see him killing fathers Jimmy. and their daughters. Like you know, we just talked about that. The guy the home, like with Chen and and the Stella and stuff. Like, but Jimmy hasn't like done he, anything he, to his daughter though. His daughter no, is doing he, everything but, to Jimmy. Right, but she's he, if he feels that he's not really being the man of the family and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and and running things but the way him, he thinks he should, you know. But to kill him brings a whole new allegation of trouble and 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 because for instance um fia now she may not like her father at this point but i know for sure she doesn't want to see him dead so no. now now your 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 mom and your 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 grandfather are you know supposedly plotting or de or decide to kill your dad that's going to be even more worrisome for the family as far as fia is concerned if that happens you can bet even though Fia said she's 17 years old and she doesn't have any <laughs> money and, and, and the high school dropout, she'll leave. She'll leave for good this time. You'll never see her again. You know, I saw the previews for next week and in the previews, um, Gina was saying, you know, I'm losing my family one by one, you know, lost yep. Rocco and now mm -hmm. Fia and stuff. So the pressure is really going to be on. As she already said to Jimmy, like, you know, you won't come back to this house until you have Fia back home and stuff. And when she finds out that Michael, that she's at Michael's house with the baby and stuff, I, I think, what is it, what? Uh, two more episodes, three more episodes left. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility that, you know, they're, they're willing to do anything to get Fia back. They may disclose to Fia what Ooh. I said about before that Adam was the one that killed Rocco and that Judge Michael covered it. Judge, he covered it and all that stuff. And that's why everything has come. So I I think that's gonna happen too, and that's gonna cause a little break. Absolutely. Yeah. So that whole Baxter family and that thing with Michael, I'm just I'm hoping that Michael don't die. But yeah, it's heating up there. Um the only thing that's uh that happened in this episode. Um, in regards to Jimmy was how he got the officer involved in going after Eugene. So 
it looks like in the previews, Eugene is going to jail after he gets out of the hospital, which I'm like, that might be an even worse place for him yeah. because we know what happened to Kofi. To Kofi. So I'm concerned for Eugene. Well, you know who else might be checking out? And I thought about that. Like, you know, uh, Big Mo. Because oh, that yes. situation when they went. Her team to, is mad. There you go. I like we thinking that it, it is getting ready to be a war. There, there, a war is, is gearing up, ramping up between Desire and the Baxter family. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Because even the previews show that. But I was like, at the end of the day, she might be taken out by one of her own. Because when I yes. saw that conversation yeah. with, you know, the way that woman just she was like, get that woman out of my house when she tried to pay her respect. And then dude on on her team that was telling Chris, little Mo, he was like Russ, yeah. something has to be done about her. Like right. she she's the problem. I was yeah. like, well, I was I, like, one of them will end up maybe taking yeah. her out. I was a little confused why Big Mo would show up at the Clark's residence anyway during the repast. I mean because she didn't think she can't be touched. <laughs> you know, she, she don't thought, she thought she she probably well, paid money and she thought her money is gonna you know cover her sin. Yeah, but right. she, Terrence was a young 13 year old. Uh, lost by you know unfortunately leaving behind a balloon that that he got into mm -hmm. um but as a mother would she's going to blame you know big mo and the whole organization and um i don't know i think she could have sent a representative if i'm big mo but to walk up in there that to me was a lot of brass you know I think she had to go in there because you send a representative and that it, just looks disrespectful. It looks like you don't care, right? So I think she was trying mm -hmm. to show her respect, but her, you know, the woman didn't, wasn't, she didn't exactly. want to receive it from her, but she received exactly. little Moto. She right. embraced little Mo when he came. Yes, she did. And that, uh, I didn't, I was a little confused. Well, to me, that speaks better of, because uh, the dude, Chris, and mm -hmm. Mo, the, the way they embrace, it seemed like they have a very tight relationship. Tight relationship. Right. And so regardless of what Big Mo has done, you know, the people within her crew have their own bond. Right. And so oh, that's kind of what that said to me is that their bond amongst one another is tighter than their bond to Mo. So me too. Which is the, why that spells trouble for her. Well, yeah. yeah exactly. Little Mo, I mean, so what does little, little Mo do? Now that uh, I forget, I don't remember the guy's name that uh, he was speaking with when the guy Chris? said. Was, it, was his name Chris? Chris was the uh, Terrence's uh, older. Uh, Chris is the okay, little brother. Chris is the older brother. Okay, when mm -hmm. he said that, when Chris said to Little Mo, um, she has to be dealt with because she can't continue to operate like this. And what does Little Mo do with that information? And that's a question. Well, he seemed like he, he seemed like he was in agreement. I mean, he seemed like he was like. Well, after he's I mean, I'm not saying he, he was down to kill her, but I'm just saying well, he's I think exiled. he knows. Yeah. So and she said I, we're not fam no more. So what do you what are you supposed to say? Yeah. Right. Well, I don't you know. know if he's trying to be a neutral party and he don't really want to do nothing either way, or if he actually does have like some vengeance that he wants to get. <laughs> so I, that's one we're well. gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, she, yeah. It, it's not gonna end well for a few people on this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not gonna be a big death one way or the other. It, it is. It's, it's gonna be a big death one or two or three. Some people won't end up in a bing. <laughs> it's Definitely. it's gonna be it's it's a lot of people are not gonna have a happily ever after. Um, right. I'm hoping that. You know, I would I would like to see one for my a fresh start for Michael, but we'll see. I'd like to see a fresh start for Eugene too. Yes, Maybe I would Leo definitely love to see a something. fresh start for Eugene and not, you know, it be a statistic. I would love to see like he needs a guardian. Um Lee well, cares, seems to care for him. Mm -hmm. if there was a way that he could uh end up having a new life either with, with Lee or or even the sister in, in Houston. That was right. Lomo's, um, Big Mo's sister. Well, I, I, mean, um, I would I think, like to see. I think that uh, Lee is uh, that she was able to get the uh, handcuffs off of him. I think she was able to do that. Now the question is: Is he stable enough to be moved? Because I think Lee understands what's happening here. So he definitely take, understands. So does she? Take uh, and he's hand? definitely getting moved. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely he, getting moved. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and, she, and yeah, well, in the previews, he's he's definitely in an orange jumpsuit though. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that is. True. Yeah. So he so he's yeah. in the bang. I think they're gonna wait 
until he's healthy or whatever, but he's in a bang. Yeah. And then yeah. he's talking to Lee and they're trying to um they're trying to figure out getting him out of there because he could get killed behind yeah. bars. Absolutely. So well, yeah, that being a minute in jail is bad for him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. So uh, I think to sum it all up. Charlie gets the hands. Charlie does I, get the hands. I, we giving Gina the hands. Gina gets the hands for sure. Basically. And I'm giving Beckwith the hands too. For Yo, sure. Beckwith too. Beckwith, Rudy, all of them Rudy, get the hands. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, Beckwith, Beckwith got his come up. And so um, I'm kind of glad of that. You know, um, I, who else would get the hands here? Um, um, well, I would say at least the game ball. I think, I think. And Jimmy, Jimmy showed up, showed out this week. <laughs> oh yeah, Jimmy, I'm um, gonna give Nancy the game Nancy, ball too. Nancy, I'll tell you one Nancy reason I wouldn't the give Jimmy. I'll tell you why I wouldn't give Jimmy the game ball because if my wife said to me, "Don't come home until," I'd be like, "I'll okay. be in the basement." <laughs> you ain't putting me out of my house. Look, <laughs> I'll be in the basement. I look if I don't. You know, this this well, don't come okay. Home we'll give this. him an honorary mention then. Honorary okay. mention. Well, Nancy definitely deserves the Nancy game gets ball the because game she ball. came yeah, through. Yeah, exactly. She came through and saved the day with with Judge Michael. Exactly. Yes, so. yes, indeed. I agree with so, that one hundred percent. This was such an outstanding episode. One of my favorites so far. Like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing what they got for us next week. Uh, do you guys have any other predictions or comments you want to throw out there before we close out? No. Not me. Okay. Uh, so to all the viewers out there, thank you for watching. Please drop down in the comment section and give us your thoughts on this episode as well as your predictions for the remainder of the season. Make sure you also subscribe to our channel. Click that uh, notification bell and the like button. Uh, we are also on all social platforms at The Spot Real Talk. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok follow us there as well mm -hmm. and if you are interested in any of the other shows we recap we have uh special interviews with some of the cast members from bmf and we have also um interviewed with some of the cast members from godfather of harlem as well mm -hmm. so check out our interviews tab and go through those and check some of those out they are awesome mm -hmm. you don't want to miss those uh any last words you said it you said All it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, we'll call it a night and we'll see you guys back here next week for another great recap of your honor. Night. Bye.